15 years ago, me and my father started 10th Street, and what keeps it really close to my heart is that it's the only place local to us Long Islanders that we really have. I started racing when I was about 12. Even though I was introduced to motorcycles super early, it wasn't until later on that I became confident enough to be able to race. As a kid, my father was a huge supporter. He brought me everywhere, you know, he put in his time as well as I. It was weekend after weekend that, you know, we spent together. I wouldn't say that I have like the best stories about what happened during a race, but for sure traveling and spending the time with my dad or spending the time with my now girlfriend when we go racing, it's kind of what brings me back to racing is being able to explore new places and, and travel around. Do I have any superstitions? I would say no. Going out onto a motocross track is super dangerous and you really need to know what you're doing. So every time I ride, I know exactly what's about to happen. It's a calculated thing, you know, that I don't put it into luck. I don't put it into superstitions. I just do what I gotta do, put my head down and make it happen. The first thing that I would suggest for someone just starting off in the racing world is to take your time, travel around, experience different types of terrain, different types of tracks, because there's a lot to um, explore and you can get caught up, you know, real quick racing the fastest dude out there and that's not really what's gonna keep you safe. Riding the track, being able to figure out your own line, keeping it on two wheels is the best way to go about it. The 10th Street vibe is pretty special. Driving here is super funny, you know, you get off the busiest road, there's gas stations, gas stations, pizza places, and then you pull into the gates and it's kind of like green setup, perfect home, you know, for the motocross guy. The future of motocross, I would like to see the pro athletes paid a little bit more out of the circuit. I would like there to be a little bit more of a union when it comes to riders where there's health insurance brought to these guys, especially the amateur guys or the uh, privateer guys are paying out of pocket to be there and they don't make very much money to walk away with. I swear this has been here for like eight to ten years and this is the first daylight it's seen. Someone's like, oh, we made you the sign and we're like, thanks. We'll just leave it there. <laughs>